beautiful people what's up what's popping welcome to my channel yo i know i have been away for a while you know a while being four months and stuff but uh, it's been a rough couple of months and uh, i just had to take a break to get into things properly and you know come up with even better content for you guys Ooh, and as you can tell from the title i'm about to dye my hair yo bro your baby girl is about to go ray you know i'm gonna I'm so excited i'm so excited but i'm really really scared so i got a couple of products from um week tools you should check them out on instagram they be having like a lot of really really good hair products this is my developer this is my dye that's the bleach rather and yes this is my dye adore collection ruby red in 64 yo i am so excited man i can't even tell you how my body is sweeting me right here. So I got a short glass because I don't have a measuring glass. <laughs> and it's supposed to be one cup, one shot of uh, the powder and then two shots of the developer. And this is a 40 volume developer because my hair is really dark. But I'm, I don't think I'll be needing much because my hair is short. Okay, let's get this video started, okay. So I started out by adding Vaseline to the perimeter of my head. Yo, you guys want to do this because um, this thing burns, okay? It burns. My God, I'm so excited. I should probably calm down, you know? Like, girl, a glass of dye, my mixing bowl. Okay. Ah, oh, smells terrible. So this is the dye that I have got and um, it's very, uh, it has a very uh, good consistency. It's not too liquidy and it's not too thick. Mix, mix, mix. I'm gonna just slab it over my head. I started, yo! It's already in motion. Like, y'all can't even say nothing about it right now. You know what? I think this brush is gonna just delay me because I want it to, it's 40 volume and it actually takes really fast. So I'm just gonna, you know, yeah. First of all, I added this to just the end of my hair and I used my hands because that was gonna give me the fastest application because 40 volume does process really fast. And I didn't go directly to my roots because the scalp has so much heat that if you put anything on it, it will process faster than the ends of your hair. That means you would end up having uh, lighter roots and darker ends. And that, that's, not, that's not the goal, sis. So after adding to my roots, I was just making sure that I got every single black hair. And I waited for, let's say, 10-15 minutes before I started applying the bleach to my roots. I think it's time for me to start off my, you know, roots. It does remind me of this sensation when you are just like newly getting your your virgin hair, your natural hair um, relaxed. That's the exact kind of burn I'm getting. Girl, I stopped using the brush because like there was nothing the brush could do for me that my fingers could not. I promise you. So I just use my fingers for the rest of the of the dyeing process. Um, pro tip please make sure you have more bleach than less because you want to make sure that every single strand is coated is soaked is diluted okay with the bleach so it's always better to have more bleach than less or else you will end up having a spotted head and that is um parts of your hair taking the bleach and the other part not getting the memo okay and that is not what we want we want every single strand to look exactly the same right so um make sure you remember to do that um here i'm using a wide tooth comb to comb out the hair to achieve the same um the same thing so that everything gets um bleach at the same time so please use a wide tooth comb not a tiny comb i see people doing that like why would you do that no so i combed it again for the second time being very gentle and i just like pulled it all up and covered it with my plastic bag so i'm trying to trap heat and so that i would, I would just quickly wash my hair okay so 
plastic bag one. So I'm just gonna stay for like, let's say a good 20 minutes. That's if I can keep with the pain, the burning sensation that I'm feeling just at the back of my scalp. So I'm gonna wait for like 15, 20 minutes and then I'm gonna wash this baby out. Yo, I was so impressed when I took out the bag because it the, the bleach took every single strand of my hair, man. And when I washed it and I checked it, <laughs> we were looking good. We were looking good. And for a first timer, I think I did a really, really good job. Look at this. Now it's time for us to go red. So this is Adore Dye, uh, Ruby Red in 64. After a few squirts, I decided that, you know, let me use a brush, but then I changed it again because it wasn't giving me what I wanted. <laughs> and I used my hands. Um, this came out super super red yo if you are not looking to go really red then i suggest that you pick another dye or something because it came out super red and i actually loved it but i didn't know it was going to be so so red girl um i also encountered some foaming because of the conditioner i used to wash out the bleach but it was fine because the, the dye still took keep in mind that this is a semi-permanent dye and after a couple of washes i think eight washes it begins to like uh fade off but i hope it fades you know in a beautiful shade color you know what i mean anyways i'm um, still using the white tooth comb after applying i brushed it all out to get rid of knots and tangles and i just let the dye sit on my hair for 10 to 15 minutes and i washed it out Now, I know on camera I look really crazy, like really intense, intense kind of red. And the background, the orange background is absolutely making it worse. But in real life, <laughs> this doesn't look bad at all. Like, this is actually exactly what I wanted. I just hope that um, when I do get to wash the color out, it, it still looks this good. Oh my gosh, guys, it is exactly what I want. Now, um, this is a semi-permanent red, so I don't know how long it's going to last being red on my head. But like, I'm willing to even take that chance that it will last at least a good four to six months before I would need to reapply or you know, just leave it like that. It depends on how I feel. And I said it, uh, this dye actually stains. I don't know if you can see it, but my fingers and my hands are pink. So you want to be careful with that. I shampooed and conditioned my hair again, but I'm going to use a leave-in conditioner and this is from TCB. Um, it's not as thick as other leave-in conditioner and um, it penetrates my strands really well. And that is what I want right now, considering the process that it has gone through. So I'm just gonna Roll that in and apply it directly to the hair. Use this oil, it's a mixture of um, avocado oil black castor oil, peppermint oil, and a couple of other oils, you know, that I just mix into this applicating applicator bottle. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of that to my scalp to seal the moisture in. Besides, you guys should do this. This is aftercare that you should not miss. I'm gonna put that in my edges as well. And So guys, thank you so much for staying tuned to the end of this video. I hope you learned something. I am very, 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 very satisfied with the result that I got by dyeing my hair. And I followed some really good instructions that I think that if you do follow, no matter how uh, amateur you are, you would be able to get a really, really good 
uh, results. So thank you so much guys for watching. I will see you in my next video. I love you and don't forget to be spontaneous, okay? Try out new things. You just might like it. Mwah. Bye.